that they wives don't cook at all. Amen. But we praying for something small like that. We should be praying for a strengthening in the situation we got already. But when she do cook, do you appreciate you thank her when she do cook? Oh, I don't have the call. I'm just saying. Uh -oh. that, that's the good thing about it. Yeah. See, I know when me and my wife are yeah. going through it because my, my meal changes. <laughs> see, that, that's the, see, people be talking about my wife don't cook. My problem is I know when there's a problem because my meal changed. Okay. See, I've been getting the good, you know, she going to school. I've been getting all these good cuisines and all this, but then I start getting a bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> See, it's two different kinds of spaghetti in my household. We got that plain spaghetti with just sauce, yeah. and then we got the meat. If I get the spaghetti with the sauce that's all dry, it ain't really got too much sauce, but I got to stir it up for a little water. <laughs> to get that thing orange, you know what I'm saying? I like it. And she gave me a big bowl up just to rub it in. <laughs> and it, it's, it's so normal that when the guys at work see it, they say so. Oh man, you in the doghouse, bro. I got that spaghetti, you know what I'm saying? So, I do realize that, man. We, we, we always going to be on different levels as far as spiritually. We can't expect our spouse to be exactly where we at. Maybe we got more time to put in. Or maybe we doing more, but we supposed to try to get them. But my problem was is I get a certain area. Like I came home from uh, I came home from the uh, fasting and praying and stuff weren't going right. I wasn't giving it to God. I was just reacting because I was pissed off. Instead of just I'm praying on it. And wait and let God handle it. Like, nah, man, this ain't going right. Yo, this, 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 this going on. Why is this? You know what I'm saying? I was, we hold a big part in our household, the men, man. Because our reaction has a trickling effect. It can either make it better or it can make it worse. If we snap on the situation, they gonna snap. Yeah. Then the kids see that, then they gonna eat off of that. That's right. I'm gonna keep mom and dad out of it. So they don't talk. You know what I mean? So I'm learning that. Calm down. If I gotta walk off or something like that, they'll walk off, talk to her later about it. Then they'll stay on one accord. Because the division is just causing destruction. You know, I know my wife ain't where I'm at, and we still grown, but sometimes they really don't know. What we saying, we saying it from a God perspective. They saying it from a woman's perspective. So we something that's second nature to us may not be that to them. Maybe we need to explain it. When you get in a routine of life, you do things one way, it's so second nature, you thinking that's how everybody 
we look at it, it's common sense. We think it's common sense, but it's not. I'd be like, come on, how you not know this? Not thinking, hey, she ain't been in that lifestyle. But I'm forgetting that. I'm thinking it for me. Come on, you did not see this happening? You did not see that happening? You know, and I'm learning that, and I'm glad that I'm growing in that area, that I'm, I'm seeing the small things. I mess up by snapping, but I pray on it, and I'm trying to get that better. It is like Paul, like he said, man, be content, no matter what. The truth ain't going to be in vain. You're going to get attacked because you're, you're following God against evil. The devil don't like it, so he's going to attack us. We just pray through and keep moving. He equipping us for the bigger picture. Any other questions? I mean, any other comments, questions? So I just say when we, when we pray on it, man, just really examine the situation. See, is it really that serious? You know, not every we are quick the way we are quick for a reason. God knows better than we know ourselves. We be praying for money, we be praying for bigger houses and all these things, but we're not looking at what's going to happen when we get it. If your heart ain't, ain't ready for that kind of stuff, God is not going to get it. If that big house meaning you working 24-7, 365, where's God at? So he's not going to give it to you. If you're equipped to do that and keep him there, you'll get it. So... I'm content, man. I'm not where I want to be at, but I'm where God needs me to be. And that's what matters. You know, we may not never be where we want to be, but we're where God wants. We're where God wants. So it's, as we strengthen in God, we get more stuff. God, like you said, He don't give you more than you can bear. But we want more than we can handle. I just pray for me in that area because I'm learning. Everything I learn, I try to share. So I guess we'll close out then. Everybody has a prayer. Father God, thank you for another blessed day. Thank you for the ones that came to late, the ones coming for service, the ones on activities, family reunions, other UBCs, sick, homeless, Shut in, health, all the things that hinder people to come to you, Lord. You come to them instead if they can't make it to you. Thank you for the Sunday school. Bless the congregation. Bless today's service. We love, honor, and cherish you. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.